In this tutorial, we will begin talking about customizing the GNOME desktop, and we will start with discussing how to change the background. Now, as you can see, the default background that comes with Ubuntu Linux is somewhat plain, but it's, it's a, it's, it's a nice background, but more often than not, most people end up changing their backgrounds. And so there's a lot of very easy ways to do it. First of all, right clicking on the desktop create creates a context menu, a right-click context menu that has an entry entitled Change Desktop Background. Selecting this option will open up a dialog box with several different default desktops that come with Ubuntu Linux. As you can see, simply selecting a new background automatically changes the background of the desktop. Now, of course, one can, can change whether is something is zoomed or scaled or centered or tiled, depending on the type of background. Additionally, if one does not want an image of any kind, one can select uh, no wallpaper, in which case a, just a simple color will be presented, which can be changed down at the bottom, desktop colors. And a, a, a color hue uh, spectrum scale will appear, and one can pick you know virtually any color here. Uh, simply by sliding the scale around and selecting a color that that's you know that's desired, clicking OK. Now another option, rather than a solid color, are gradients, horizontal gradient, in which case a second color box appears. And one can pick a different color. That's one way to do a horizontal gradient, or another option is a vertical gradient. Now, adding new wallpapers is very easy. Now, there's lots of places on the Internet where, where one can uh, find new wallpapers, but uh, one place uh, that might be nice to go to and might, might get familiar with is one that's called art.gnome.org. Now GNOME, as I've mentioned, is the default desktop that comes with Ubuntu Linux, and art.gnome.org is a good place that, that contains d wallpapers and desktop themes and window themes and, and lots of other types of things that, uh, that are available for, for, for download. Taking a look at the backgrounds here, you can see they've broken it out into ones that are based on GNOME, that sort of have the, the GNOME uh, toe, which is sort of the logo of the GNOME desktop environment, or nature or a abstract backgrounds. So let's select a new background to download, a new nature-based background, and usually different resolutions are available for download. Clicking on one of these resolutions will go ahead and, and, and download the photo in the browser. And once it's fully downloaded, right-clicking on the image and doing Save Image As. Now you'll notice it does have automatically set as desktop background. That's a shortcut. But I'm going to show you the way to go ahead and save it first. Save Image As and we'll save it in the home directory here in this case Joe. and Save. It's downloaded. Now we will close the download manager window and close the browser window. Now going back to the home directory you'll see the downloaded image there, right there in the home directory. Now, of course, you know, what might be nice would be to create a folder called wallpapers or backgrounds and move this into that directory. And there it is. Now, to, uh, to get this image on the background, one can go to right-click on the desktop, Go to Change Desktop Background, and we'll go back to this dialog box again. Let's move it over a little bit, and we can select Add Wallpaper. This will open up a file, a, a file picker or, or a file selector box in our home directory. As you can see, Places under Home, Desktop, and here's a sort of a smaller version of the bar that that lists buttons as you navigate. But as you can see, we're in the we're in Joe's home directory. So let's click on wallpapers, double click on that, and there's the, uh, there's the image we just downloaded. We'll select open, and it has automatically been selected, and as you can see in the background, move everything out of the way, the background has been selected. Now, 
I don't know if that background, that looks like that is, that has been scaled. So, because that, that image is much larger than the resolution I currently have set for this background. If it was, if it was not, then, it, for example, selecting centered zooms in on the actual resolution of the photo. And you don't get the whole photo, of course, but if we want the photo scaled down to fit within our uh, smaller desktop, we would select scaled. Now, another way to add the wallpaper here, a very much, much easier way, let's remove this and go back to our other wallpaper and open up the home folder and going into wallpapers. Let me resize this here. An easy way to do it rather than, than doing add wallpaper and then navigating to this particular folder is simply dragging the image over into this tool, in which case the same result is accomplished. The wallpaper has been added and it has been automatically selected. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.